Welcome to this Identity Access video tutorial on how to change the IP address of an iNet door controller. First off, we need to make sure we have installed the iNet Configurator software. This software is automatically installed with our Identity Access software, or it can be installed as a standalone application on any PC. From the Controlsoft homepage, click Login in the top right corner and enter the login details. Please email support at controlsoft.com to request a login if you do not have one. Under the software downloads area, you will see the latest version of the iNet configurator. We will skip the installation process for this demonstration, but it's a very simple process of clicking through the steps, accepting our terms and conditions, and then clicking finish. We will now launch the iNet configurator and login using the credentials shown. In this example, we are connecting to the iNet using its default IP address, which is 10.0.1.230. This IP address will be set if the reset button on the iNet controller is held for 30 seconds. Once the connection is established, you will see the processor version of the iNet, which in this case is an M502 processor. You will also see the firmware EMS version and controller MAC address. Ensure that Fixed is selected, then enter the IP address, subnet mask and gateway required. Then click on the right button. The changes will be applied after the controller has been rebooted. Click the reboot button on the top right and close the iNet configurator. You can now launch a command prompt from the start menu and ping the new IP address of your controller to confirm a connection. The controller is now pinging and can be added to our identity access software. You can find a video on how this can be done in the video's description box. This concludes our tutorial on how to change an IP address of an iNet door controller. For more information, please contact support at controlsoft.com.